this increase in win rate can just be what you're missing to go from a break-even trader to a profitable one. And I will be giving it away for absolutely free to thank you all so much for the 10,000 subscribers and as my gift for you for 2023. It's based on the 22 ICT mentorship, but it has a little twist to it. And you don't need to know the daily bias. All you need to do is just follow those rules. So let's start right away. So the first rule is that you need a liquidity sweep. What is a liquidity sweep? You can check my library of videos for that or even ICTs, but a type of liquidity sweep that I love is going and hunting for retail traders' stop losses. When I will show you the examples, you will better understand. Retail traders love to sell double stops, for example, while the algorithm knows about that. So what do we usually see after that? Price coming back to take out the retail traders, and then we continue lower. The second rule is that we want to see a displacement. A displacement is a significant push in the opposite direction of the liquidity sweep. It needs to be a significant move. And this gives us a hint that something is happening at this level. Then the third rule is that we need to see a break of low or high depending if you're looking to sell or to buy. Then we need to also see a fair value gap forming. And if you don't know what a fair value gap is, don't worry. I will show it to you when we get to the examples. Finally, the two ways that I found that can increase your win rate is to also wait for a fair value gap to form on the two minutes as well. Because the higher the time frame, the more significance it has. So by also waiting for two minute fair value gaps, it gives us another important confluence to our trade. But then you might say, why not simply always stay on the two minute instead? You can do that, but you might miss multiple trades because sometimes the change of structure is only happening on the one minute. And so we might leave without you taking the trade. And furthermore, using the one minute for entries gives us much more precision and a better risk to reward. All right, so let's check the first example. I didn't want to go way before in 2010 or something like that to give you an example. So I just took yesterday at the time of recording. So we saw this setup. So what do we see here? Relative equal highs. So people would, for example, sell here. And if they didn't want to take profit or didn't go break even, look what happened right after. The first step, which was going up and sweeping liquidity. Then what do we see? We want to see a displacement, a big significant move. And what's this? A big significant move. Third step, we want to see some lows breaking out, which is what we got here. Then a fair value gap, which is that here. And if you don't know what a fair value gap is, is a void between the low of this candle and the high of this candle. So you can see here this gap with just one candle which fills it. So you can check the ICT concepts if you want to have more details. Then the new rule is we don't simply go and put the trade after seeing this fair value gap on the one minute. What we also want to see is a fair value gap on the two minutes. So let's play price in here. Which is what we have here. So we also have a fair value gap here on the two minute. So now we can go back on the one minute and then simply place the trade at this point right there, below the fair value gap. With the stop above the high, and then let's just go with the first level, which is here, clean one, two, three. So we need the price to come back up to get a feel. And there you go. And it even went farther. So you can even play with your take profits and then even have a better one. Let's just check the second example now. Once again, I didn't need to go that far. I went to December 21st and I saw another example. So you can see here the small relative equal lows where people maybe bought here. And let's wait for the first step, which is a liquidity sweep, which is what we got. We just took out all of the people who bought here. Then we need a displacement, a big push in the opposite side, which is clearly what we got here, you can see. Then the third step, a break of high, this is the high, and then we broke out. Preferably we would like to see a close above the high, but ICT clearly said that we don't need to see that. Simply a week is sufficient, but we do prefer having a close. Then if you can see, here the fair value gap, once again on the one minute. But before putting the trade, let's first go on the two minute. And then what we can see here is an even lower fair value gap, which is advantageous for us. So all we need to do is now 
put the order right there, stop below this low, and then go for at least 2.5 for the yesterday's high. See how quickly it was, and that's it. Let's now check the third example on Euro USD. So if you're a retail trader, what would you see here? Doesn't this look like a trend line, like a channel? So people would maybe buy in here, putting their stop losses here below this low, and then trying to go for this level, right? Well, let's see what the algorithm does. Exactly. So now what we're waiting for is a displacement. There's a small push that we had after taking out of this liquidity, but you see here no high sticking out. Let's check maybe on the second leg. Exactly, so we're starting to see this big push. You see all of those big consecutive candles, so clearly this is significant. And we also have the high that's broken right there. And on the one minute, we have this fair value gap in here. But let's first check on the 2 minute if we have something. And we do have the 2 minute fair value gap, so we have even more confluences. So now that we have all of that, we can go back on the 1 minute. Simply put the trade. Stop loss covering preferably this low, but you can also go with this one. And then the first target in here, which is another 1, 2, 3. See the precision, see the minimal drawdown that we had, and you can see how far it even goes. So if you're practicing and gathering data, you could check what's the best take profit to go. But that's another story. Stay tuned for next week's video because there will be a very important announcement for 2023. And I'm really excited for this. If you always want to learn and want to take your trading to the next level, then stay alert for this video. In the meantime, I wish you a happy new year health and success in your trading. Take care.